Alrighty boys, welcome back to the channel. So, right now it is Wednesday. I have a design project due Friday. I've done about half of it, just have to finish it up. There's a bunch of stuff to do. So I'm going back to the computer lab. Hopefully there's no one in there. Even if there is, I might just have to force, just finesse my way in and just grind this thing out. It's one in the afternoon right now. I don't know what time I'm gonna leave campus tonight, but it might be a late night. Alright, so quick change of plans. I can hear lots locked up. There's a second bit lot in the basement site. It's usually also locked, but I'm gonna try it. Hopefully it's open. I am designing a chemical process here. Um, there's two reactions. This guy is vinyl chloride. That is the product we want. And this is a simulation uh, software called Hysis. And it wasn't working too, too well uh, the past couple days. But I just said, screw it restarted, started fresh, like tell you the old one and just redid everything. And it's working now, so there was some glitch in like the old program somewhere. So we're pretty close to finishing. We've just extracted vinyl chloride out of a 90% purity, so that's pretty good. But right now it's coming out at negative 150 degrees Celsius, which is not good. Like I, that's quite literally not possible. So there's some issue. I was talking with someone in my course and they said like the pressures might be a little too high. So I'm gonna mess around with those. But I'm just happy that this software is finally working because it was a struggle to get this shit working. So we're just gonna sit in this computer lab here for I don't know how long it takes to get this shit done. composition of the distillate it is composed of 1.26 percent ethylene now ethylene is a very small molecule pretty much always found in the gas phase so if you want to cool it down to the point where it's in the liquid phase you're gonna have to like cool it to like a very 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 low temperature and because i specified that the distillate coming out of the distillation column is in the liquid phase it's probably having to cool it down so much to make that even just that 1.26 percent ethylene go into the liquid phase so i'm going to look up the boiling point of ethylene i'm, I'm sure it's going to be very low and i think that's probably what my issue is Yes, so ethylene boiling point negative 103.7 Celsius. So that's definitely part of it. But then why is it cooled all the way to negative 150? The only other thing is there's like a tiny bit of nitrogen. And nitrogen, you'd have to cool it down to like negative 200 to get it into liquid. But there's so little, I feel like it wouldn't matter that much. Like it wouldn't play a role, but it might. That is exactly what the issue was. So what we did is we wanted to take that gas out. So it was at a super high pressure. So the gas was like artificially in the liquid stream. So we decreased the pressure with two um, pressure control valves, added a two phase separator with a vent to just get rid of all that ethylene and nitrogen. So the only thing left was the stuff that we actually want in the column. So now it doesn't have to like turn a super um, light gas that doesn't want to be in the liquid phase into a liquid so it doesn't have to get it to a super low temperature it comes out at 43.5 celsius fucking mint Alrighty, guys it is 7:32. i literally finished most of this 2 30 and i've been on the exact same part since 2 30 so literally for the last five hours i haven't gone on my phone haven't done anything all i've done is just try to get this fucking thing to work and the issue 
is this is the recycle stream. I just need to add it to here. But when I add the recycle stream, the whole thing just freaking explodes. Like, watch. None of this is solved anymore. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, I c c called with the TA and asked, and she said to try and use a spreadsheet thing. Didn't really work. Called someone else, I talked to them. They offered some good advice. They, like, kind of trial and error it. That's what I'm trying to do, but it's just not working. And my phone's at 1%. So I'm thinking the plan is to just go home um work on the rest of the d d design project i like, do as much as i can besides like this one part that i can't i won't be able to d do everything of course because i can't get like the final answer but i can do like the cost calculation a couple different things Alrighty, guys i'm back home now so as i was saying before my phone battery died and c c c cut me off um instead of just wasting all my time on this one part that I just can't get done. I'm gonna finish everything else that I can get done. And then I'm gonna meet with a TA or maybe even the professor tomorrow. Just be like, yo, like this is where I'm at. I got everything else done. Just this one little thing, please help me out. Hopefully just in person that you show me what to do. Quick bing, bang, boom. And from there, I'll just have the, the final answer to finish up the cost calculation. If there's a couple things I missed or finish up the heat integration or finish up the lab report or all of the above and then submit it hopefully by Friday because this thing's due Friday. So definitely cutting it pretty close, but hey man, we'll get done. All right, so with that being said, I guess I'll start with the cost calculations. Call myself some chili, some milk, Microsoft Excel. And a fucking dream, boys. A dream to just get this shit done. <sighs> All right, it is now 11.30. My brain is officially fried. I've um, written down all the units that I have in the process here written down their operating pressure and then all of the different criteria that the cost will be evaluated for. Um, some of the stuff might change, so I'm not really sure how much I want to do tonight. Also, like I'm just going so slow right now because I'm just like super tired. So I'm thinking, yeah, maybe this isn't the best use of my time. So I'll probably just call it, call it quits here, save this thing and tomorrow's a new day but this isn't the end of the evening boys because first we gotta work out so i leave for tree planting in a couple weeks and the more weight i left now the more trees i plant this summer and the more cash in the bank so i've worked out every single day for the past i think six days now so this will be day number seven even though it's 11.45 and I'm gassed, just gotta sneak in a quick workout. All right guys, with that being said, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned, got lots more content coming. And I, 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 as I said, I leave for tree planting in a couple weeks. So this summer, it's gonna be some banger videos. I guarantee it. All right guys, peace.